Ruski's Crypto Cave here, and just like the title of the video says and the thumbnail, I sold a good chunk of Caspa. As you can see here, um, this is my um, address on the Block Explorer, and on the 15th, I sold 41,000 Caspa. Currently valued at $5,981. Um, it was not that high uh, when I sold the coin. Um, it was in the 11 cent range, 11.1, 11.2, something like that, um, which I had the screenshots. I ended up selling it, or basically swapping it. I swapped it in Zelcor um, under the exchange feature, and it uses uh, change now. Um, at first, I thought the fees actually weren't too bad, um, just because the ETH, amount of ETH it took was about $9 or so. Um but after like further looking into it and then seeing what the USDT that was left in my wallet was, if he was about 50 freaking USDT and plus about $9 of ETH. So it was about $60 in transaction fees. So yes, it would have been more of a hassle to send to an exchange, sell it, send it back, all that fun stuff. And with at USDT, it might have been 10 or $20 of fees just because it's on the Ethereum blockchain and fees are just stupid. Um, but yeah, it was expensive, but, um, so you're probably asking what did I, why did I sell it? Uh, a couple of reasons. Um, first I wanted to lock in some gains, um, because I've been mining Casper since the summer of 22 and I mined about 87,000 or so Caspa on, um, uh, in GPUs in first wallet before I got the ice rivers and became pretty much ASIC only. Um, and I've currently mined about 13,000 or so. Uh, let's actually check. First wall, about 7,400. That's worth about just under 1,100. Second KS0 is about 6,000. So yeah, it's about 13,400. And then this is my main wallet. Um, as you can see, I still do have about 46,000 left, for just under 47,000. Uh, so I still have a nice chunk of change in Caspa left. but. Um, reason I sold it is I ordered a KS2. So uh, my reasoning behind it was, first of all, lock in profits, because if you never sell and realize the gains, you never actually profit. Um, and then second of all, doing the math, um, it'll probably take three, three and a half months. Um, so I'm going to say even four to four and a half, just with the increase in hash rate, but the increase in network hash rate is slowing down and it is getting it's still going up, but at the the rate of the increase is much, much less than it was previously. Um, like, for example, when I was GPU mining Caspa, the network hash rate was under one petahash. So, um, and you were getting a lot more uh, yield um, for, for your hash rate. So, um, yeah, so get back to what I was talking about with the KS2. Um, so the KS2 is currently, and then if you look at it, when I sold it, it was worth about say $4,600, I think. Um, I actually have some screenshots from Zelcor here. I'll pop up on the screen and you'll see. So it was worth, it was worth about like say $4,600 uh, for that amount of Casper that I sold. And currently the miners are selling for 5,500 here on Crypto Miner Bros. Um, Coin Mining Central is $5,600. Um, there's probably some coupon codes for about 100 bucks off of that, so that's in the 5500 range. And then BT Miners here is at 5820. So, and this is the same, same thing, about three and a quarter months um, ROI, which probably will, in the long run, end up being more like four to five, is what I'm guessing, which is still, I mean, you, really, <laughs> you can't beat it. Um, but to replenish the amount of coins that I spent, like I said, I spent 41,000 Caspa, um, as you can see here. And then this is actually, that's the 500, 500 Caspa that I did a giveaway on back in September uh, for the five-year mining anniversary, which at the time that was worth maybe 20 bucks. That's now worth uh, 72.80, and I believe it was way too fast for you, was the um, the person that won it. Um, or figured it out, just basically paid attention to the video and got the seed phrase and then restored the wallet. So that was kind of cool. The, uh, um, but what I bought the KS24 um, was 4,500. 
Um, so the, I did get it for substantially less than this, uh, but it's also, it was like right before Casper started pumping the 12, 13, 14 cents. And uh, um, so with the, in the increase in price of the miners, just like the BTC miners, the price of these miners have gone up. So they went up about a thousand bucks or so um, compared to what I paid for it. The amount that Caspa is worth now that I sold, yeah, it's worth maybe $1,300 more than what I sold it for. So am I out a little bit? Yes. But am I really concerned about it? No, not really. For 20 bucks, I locked it in. Got the order in for the, the late November batch. Um, so that will be hopefully shipping. It'd be nice if it would ship this week. Um, but it's you know, we're at the mercy of Ice River with these things. So um, so sooner that ships, uh, the sooner I can get her plugged in, turned on, and start restoring the amount of Casper that I sold. Because um, the Casper that this one will mine, I don't plan on selling any of it, just stacking it. Um, and actually, if we go to what to mine. Oh, actually in here, there's another thing I too. I was messing around with a 0 0.02 tera hash. That's about 20 giga hash. I was kind of just messing around doing the math. Um, if you saw my previous video about doing an upgrade from 160 to 180, um, you'll use about 20 more watts or so. And let's hit calculate. Yeah, it's about 56 cents more a day. Um, I think it, that firmware will cost you about 300 Caspa. Uh, so if you get 300 Caspa, estimated about four per day, you're looking at 75 days to, to the break even. So a month and a half, two and a half months just to break even a firmware upgrade. So no, not terrible, but. I'm not going to do it. it. Might not run perfectly fine at the 160 giga hash for my KS0. So I am just leaving it at that. But anyway, let's go to the, go to the 2 tera hash, 1200 watts. About 400 coins a day. Now, so to recoup 41,000, going to roughly need 102 days. Uh, so that's like three and a half months. Somewhere around there, as far as coin wise, price wise, um, as far as price wise, like it'll probably break even sooner than that, just because of uh, um, the price of Casper going up. It'll it'll uh, break even quicker as far as price U.S. dollar wise. Um, but I'm gonna kind of keep track of the ROI on this one, or ROII, or break even, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, based on the amount of coins, so I'm gonna mine the KS2 to a Another um, address, because uh, actually I, I ordered a Tangent wallet, and I said that's I just got a shipping notification for that one's on the way, so I'll test that out and I'll use that Tangent wallet as the wallet for the KS2, and uh, just track how long exactly it takes to recoup forty-one thousand Caspa. So, uh, so that'll be coming in some future videos, but just basically wanted to record a sh short video just saying. Yes, sold some Caspa, locked in some gains, and, and just say why. So, um, just because uh, you got to lock in your profits, because if you never sell and realize gains, you don't. You, it's just paper games. So, um, you could always buy back at a lower price. Um, yep, let's see. And right here, we're at four and a half cents on Caspa right now, or 14 and a half cents, I should say. So that's on the daily. Let's drop to a four hour. Still looking good. Weekly chart. If it kind of resembles the weekly chart of early Bitcoin. If you look at the weekly chart of Bitcoin in its early days, I had a massive run up there, but. Similar, it's bullish looking chart. That's for sure. And I'm not really a no, not financial advice. I'm no chart expert, but it doesn't take a genius to, to take a look at this and say bottom left, top right, and it just keeps going that way. So that is definitely a, a good looking chart. So 
but it is definitely due for a pullback. Uh, these are all um, moving averages. Uh, I believe this is 200 simple, that's 200 exponential, 55 simple, 55 exponential, so on and so forth. But um, it is due for a pullback here at some point, so um, you never know. It could just keep going, but either way, um, it's, it's definitely doing well, and it's not even a bull market. Once, once, once the bull market comes into full swing and more money flows into the crypto markets and stuff like that, like just in the last couple cycles, and all, all these coins just take off. So anyway, we'll leave it at that. So we'll catch you on the next one. All right, take it easy.